Hot on the heels of a review of the Vanguard, we've got another one here, the Ron Burgundy. I mean the Burgone, or however you pronounce it. I've tried, but I've given up trying, so I'm going with Burgone. Hope it's right, I know it's not. The Tier 10 Burgone is one of the few ships I've tested lately that has had very little change on it. The biggest change was applied to both her and the Jean Bart, and saw the main battery reload booster cut from 30 seconds to 20. While not a huge change, it was probably needed as both ships sported a pretty fast reload as it is. In addition to this change, there was some more gentle buffs to the anti-aircraft capabilities of this ship, and the option for catapult fighter was removed. Burgone is now final though. It is in the game, and those of you who accumulate steel will need to decide whether to purchase this or the Stalingrad. It's not really that easy of a choice either. While Stalingrad is generally regarded as the epitome of Russian bias, the Burgone is nothing to sneeze at. While 15 inch shells generally sound underwhelming, the French variants with a velocity of 830 meters per second are more than capable of tackling ships all the way up to Yamato. This is in stark contrast to the Vanguard, whose 15 inchers seem quite underwhelming. Once again, these guns are in three quadruple gun turrets with a base reload time of 28 seconds. Firing range is 24.8 kilometers. With the AP being that as it is, I rarely bother to use HE on this ship, though I think I fired it once by accident. No, I am not a fan of HE on battleships. The top speed is 32 knots, which can be increased with Sierra mics and gets that nice little speed treatment with speed boost as well, just like all the other French battleships. The downside to Burgone is that she only has 74,700 hit points, which is not a lot for a tier 10 battleship. Considering the Stalingrad has almost about the same amount, that might sway your decision right there regarding the two ships. I pointed that out in length during my Burgone preview. In my preview, I wasn't too enthused with this ship, but since then, I have warmed up considerably towards her. So, the fun factor. It's definitely there. Whereas players were hoping that the Vanguard would be more like a Tier 8 War Spite and less Hood, that unfortunately did not happen with the Vanguard. However, Burgone feels like a natural evolution of Richelieu and even Jean Bart. At this point on the French tech tree line, Republic feels as if it's out of place, and Bourgogne should have been the tech tree ship at tier 10. The ship plays well as a raider. If you can maneuver her to get the flank on the enemy, as I did in this round, there really isn't much they're going to be able to do to stop you. With the reload boost, you can pump out shells and decimate foes rather quickly. Bourgogne gets the feel of upper tier French battleships down pat. Of course, once again, it's not all a bed of roses, and with a nearly 25,000 hit point deficiency when compared to other tier 10 battleships, you start off behind the power curve. Keep this in mind in engagements ship with ships fire. like Yamato and Kerfurst. If you square off with one that's even remotely full health, you're already at a disadvantage. Down. This ship was not made for one-on-one -on -one melees, though. While there's something to be said for duking it out close in with battleships, Burgone plays better mid-range, engaging battleships in that 10km to 14km sweet spot. Push with the team, engage in a division, and the strengths and the fun of this ship come out. Would I purchase this ship over Stalingrad? That's a tough one. I think you'll get more utility out of Stalingrad in clan and rank settings. If you don't plan on going that route and just want a ship to have fun in public matches, Burgone might be more your flavor. Of course, if you have the steel to afford either, you likely prefer clan battles either way. In that case, it just comes down to if you like battleships or cruisers more. Of course, one would argue that the Stalingrad is a mini battleship at any rate. So there you have it, a review of the Tier 10 Borgone. Little has changed since my preview. She's fast, she's fun, she's a definite raider that can decimate cruisers with reload boost, and battleships too for that matter. 
Hope this aids in your decision. Thanks for watching. Zoop out. Our victory is in